Good day class, I'm Teacher Verne, your teacher in science. Before we start our class, here are virtual class rules. First, I want you to find a silent place where you are comfortable so that you can focus on lesson. Watch and listen carefully. After my virtual lesson, you can ask questions to our group chat class. The objective of this lesson are the students are expected to demonstrate understanding about the use of appropriate measuring tools and correct standard units and describe the motion of objects by tracing and measuring its change in motion in position distance travel over a period of time I have here a picture. What picture is this? Alright. This is a cheetah. Have you heard that the cheetah is runs fastest among the land animals? That's right. Cheetah runs fastest among the land animals. How fast does it move? Alright. The cheetah moves in a speed of 20 meters per second. Are you familiar with this illustration? Okay. Where do we usually see? this we usually see this outside our house or in the streets based on the picture that we have the two pictures demonstrate motion it changes position over time compared to reference point motion happens when an object moves and changes its position because of the applied force. Have you heard the word speed? Alright. So what is speed? Speed is a measure of motion of an object. It has two elements which is distance and time. How to get the speed of an object? Okay, to get the speed of an object, here is the formula. Speed is equals to distance over time. Or you can write this, speed is equals to d over t. Speed is used as standard unit of meter per second or m over s. We mentioned a while ago the word distance. It says that in order to get the distance, we need the element of distance and time. So now, what is distance? Distance is the measurement of the space between objects. It can be determined by the length which measure the distance from one point to another. The standard unit of distance is meter. The tools that can use to measure a distance or a short distance is the meter stick and the ruler. So now, we need to define the time. What is time?
Time is the amount it takes an object to travel a certain distance. The standard unit of time is seconds, which can be determined by a stopwatch device. Here are the units used for distance and time. For distance, centimeters, meters, kilometers, and miles. In time, we use seconds, minutes, hours, days, and years. For distance is used to measure short distance that can be measured by ruler. For longer distance, kilometer is being used. For time is used for shorter being consumed while hours is used for longer time. How to solve a simple problem regarding the speed and velocity of an object? First, know what is asked in a problem. Use the appropriate formula for a given problem. Third, check the units if they are correct. How to compute the speed? To compute the speed of an object, we need to follow the formula which is speed is equals d over t or distance over time. I have here an example. It takes a car 30 seconds to go 90 meters. So what is the speed? Don't forget to write the given. S is stands for speed. It's equals to question mark because we are looking at the speed of an object. Then D is equals to 90 meters which is distance. T is equals to 30 seconds which is the time. Now, we need to solve the problem. Speed is equals to distance over time. Speed is equals to, now we convert the equivalent of distance and time. Speed is equals to 90 meters over 30 seconds. So we need to divide 90 meters to 30 seconds. So the speed now is 30 meters per second. To simplify this, speed is equals to 3 m per s or meter per second so now do you know what is velocity velocity is a measurement of a speed together with direction how to get or compute of velocity. To get the velocity of a moving object, we must know and follow the formula. Where's the formula? V is equals to d over time. I have here an example. It takes a car 40 seconds to go 80 meters towards north direction. What is the velocity? Then write the given. V is equals to question mark because we are looking at velocity. D is equals to 80 meters. T is equals to 40 seconds. Now, we need to solve the problem. V is equals to D over time. Then convert the distance in time. V is equals to 80 meters over 40 seconds. We need to define the 80 meters into 40 seconds. So, velocity is equals to 
2 meter per second snort. To simplify this, velocity is equals to 2 per second snort. So that is the velocity. Now, answer the following. Try to answer the following. Let us read the first problem. First, Anna traveled 100 meters in just 20 seconds. What is the speed? Second, Troy traveled 8 meters to south in just 20 seconds. What is the velocity? Okay, let us solve the form problem number one. Read the word problem. Okay, let us read the problem. Anna traveled 100 meters in just 20 seconds. What is the speed? Write the given. Speed is equal to question mark. T is equal to 100 meters, which is the distance. T is equal to 25 seconds, which is the time. Now we need to solve the problem. S is equal to D over T. S is equal to D is equal to 100 meters on the distance. Then 25 seconds for the time. So the speed of this graph, this object is 4 meter per second. So to simplify this is S is equal to 4 m per S. The second problem. Troy traveled 80 meters to south in just 20 seconds. What is the velocity? Given velocity is equals to question mark because we are looking the velocity. D is equals to 80 meters. T is equals to 20 seconds. Now we need to solve the problem. V is equals to D over T. V is equals to 80 meters over 20 seconds. Divide 80 meters to 20 seconds. The velocity is 4 meter per second to south. To simplify, velocity is equals to 4 m per sec to south. Did you understand plans? Okay, let us recall what had discuss earlier what is motion motion is a changes position over time compared to reference points very good it happens when an object moves and change its position because of applied force so now what is speed very good Speed is a measure of motion of an object and it has two elements which is the distance and time. The standard unit of speed is meter per second or m per s. So now, what is distance? Very good. Distance is the measurement of the space between objects. It can be determined by the length which measures the distance from one point to another. So now, what is time? Very good. Time is the amount it takes an object to travel a certain distance. What is velocity? Very good. Velocity is a measurement of space together with directions. How to solve simple problem regarding speed and velocity of an object? First, know what is asked in the problem. Show the appropriate formula for a given problem. Check the units if they are correct. For your learning activity for this week, I'll send to our group chat class 
and answer the learning activities. Learning Task 1, Page 1 Learning Task 2, Page 1 Learning Task 3, Page 2 Before we end our class, I just want to share this quote. Never give up on what you want to be. God is always there to guide us. Thank you for watching and listening. See you in our next class. Hopefully, you learn our lesson for this week. Goodbye!